Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 2022 favourites. So, I'm going to do this in a... Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do only things I like discovered this year. Just because if I do like every product I love, this video is going to be too long. So, I'm going to start with like fragrances, I think. So my first ones are the Sold Day Janeiro sprays. These two are like my favourite in particular. So this one was limited edition. It's the tan lines one. This literally smells like summer in a bottle. And like the packaging is gorgeous. But this honestly smells like summer in a bottle. It's so nice. And this is like my favourite one for summertime. And then this one is the... 39 coconut cream and toaster praline um this honestly just smells this smells like chocolate bounty bar with the coconut which i really like i feel like a lot of people don't like it but this smells exactly like it it's just coconutty it's again smells like summer it's so nice so i have been loving these two when i just want something quick to spray and then like my two favourite perfumes. Favourite perfumes, Why is that Libre? And then St. Francis, I don't know, the Baccarat Rouge 540. I feel like this is everyone's favourite. I got this for my birthday and literally what I use every time I go out. I love it. So these two, I can't explain what these smell like, but honestly, love these both. We'll do some skincare, so the Tatcha Rice Wash. This is the cleanser I really loved this year. Honestly, I know, but I swear this just makes my skin so clean. It smells nice. I only have a little bit left in this, so I'm gonna have to buy it again. But I have loved this. Um, got like two serums that I fell in love with. They kind of do the same thing. So I've got the watermelon glow drops from Glow Recipe. I've been using these for a few months and I absolutely love how dewy they make my skin. They smell nice. They smell like watermelon. And yeah, I've just been loving them. And then the other one is very expensive. It's, this is only a mini because I literally cannot bring myself to spend $120 on this, but I think I'm going to. Maybe I'll do it with my gift cards at all, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This honestly just makes my skin look like glass. It smells so good and honestly just makes my skin look amazing, especially like under makeup. It looks amazing. Like my I'm wearing this today and I feel like my skin looks so glowy. So yeah, this is honestly a 10 out of 10. If you can get this, I recommend getting it. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I have actually previously mentioned this in a favourites video like a year ago. But this is honestly just my favourite moisturiser. It's what I use every day. I love it. I don't even know if you can see. But I love this moisturiser so much. It makes my skin so moisturised. My skin just looks so plump when I wear it. I just love brushes. I haven't really brought many makeup brushes. So these are just from the brand Mecca Max. So I've just gotten that Mecca. So we've got a angled complexion brush. So it's kind of angled. I use this to blend in my cream contour. And it honestly blends it in so easy. It makes it. So easy to blend this brush is such good quality for the price it was pretty cheap so i've been loving that and then i got the flush angled blush brush again kind of similar but this is for blush honestly i use this with my cream and powder blushes honestly it blends them easy this brush doesn't shed or anything like it's such good quality and again it's more on the affordable side of makeup brushes a little guy from we got this little like spongy thing from beauty blender so i use this you just put like your finger on it your finger and i use this to kind of bake under my eyes and everywhere else that i would usually like crease because i do have pretty creasy under eyes so my concealer creases so easy 
and so I kind of bake with this and this honestly just applies it so nicely sometimes I'll set my whole face just using this because it's so soft honestly guys I recommend getting it because I'm obsessed with this little thing but yeah so my favorite primer Joe. I've been using this like little combo for the past six months I reckon so it's a Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base as you guys can probably see I have nearly finished this I do have another one ready to go and then the Wonder Glow Primer from Charlotte Tilbury this honestly this combo honestly just makes my skin so hydrated so glowy I'm obsessed literally like got nothing left in this really and I'm contemplating whether or not to buy the full size one of this. This has lasted me a while. But yeah, love this primer. And then Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I probably don't need to say much about this. Everyone knows. I have used this again for a few years. I've been using this ever since she released this. I've had just the wrong shade for me. So I finally got my proper shade. I have the shade number 4 medium. And this just looks amazing like I can wear with this under makeup by itself it honestly just makes my skin look so glowy gives me like a tiny bit of coverage honestly I'm obsessed with this but it literally is so hard to get I know that it is like it took me so long to be able to get this shade but I use this every time I do my makeup and I'm obsessed I have two foundations that I fell in love with this year. So the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my face today. Honestly, it does make my skin so flawless, but not too like full coverage. It's so glowy. It sits in my skin beautiful. Like I'm obsessed. If you're oily, I don't think you're gonna like this. But I do have extremely like I do have normal to dry skin. And I am obsessed with this. I use this in the shade number 4. And it's like the perfect fake tan shade for me. So I am obsessed with that. My other, my other favourite foundation is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. In the shade Punjab. Again this is my fake tan shade. This kind of similar to the, to the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it's glowy. It's not full coverage. It honestly gives me pretty much the same look on my skin but yeah these pots are amazing so i don't know it depends what one you want to get i think this one's easier to get your hands on than the charlotte tilbury one but yeah i love this as well for concealer i fell in love with the dior forever skin correct concealer this is all i've been using the past couple months i do not wear makeup every day but Honestly, this makes gives me the coverage I want under my eyes. It doesn't really crease that much, and yeah, I don't know. I just love it. So I have the shade 1.5N, and this is like a perfect shade under my eyes. Um, the most like my pro favorite things in the year the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty wands. So I have the contour wand and the pink gasm wand. So you can see, it was very like. I feel like there's not much product left in this one but this one I feel like came with a lot so I've been using this way longer than I got this but yeah I, I don't know if you can tell I have the contour on now and I love it it's easy to blend it's probably the perfect shade for me I love how it's not too dark it's what it looks like I've been using this now since April I got this for Christmas last year absolutely obsessed i've already brought it back up because i don't want to run out and the pink as and blush wand probably the same thing love it love the color i feel like it's a little bit harder to blend i don't know but and i feel like this you do not get a lot of product in this one like i feel like mine's i've only been using this for like two months and i don't use it every day and it's already like nearly gone and these are not cheap but I'm obsessed with the formula, obsessed with the colour. So I would recommend it if you guys have the money to spend on it. If not, probably get 
go for a cheaper alternative, but I actually love it. Um, my favorite powder is the Pro the Laura Mist here. One, I haven't really tried any new powders this year. I don't think I actually have. But yeah, Fallon, I do quite like this. It's what I'm wearing today. And it just sets my makeup really nicely. It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look gross. Really good powder. I don't really know what to say about it, but yeah. Do you really like it? Um, my brow product. So these, this is literally my brow combo. Every day I, I do my makeup, so I love the Fenty brow pencil. It's just really creamy, but not too creamy. Where it's gonna slip everywhere. It's easy to use. So I really like that. The Benefit um, foolproof brow powder. I've been using this for years. Absolutely love it. It's such a nice product. Like that. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I'm actually obsessed with this. And the full brow gel. I have the Kosas Airbrow. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. This is just a clear one. Absolutely love how this sets my brows. It gives them all, it keeps them in place all day. Doesn't make them look gross. So yeah, love that. I've uh, got like two powder products. So the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I've got this. I brought this on my birthday. This is I have this shade 2 medium. Absolutely obsessed with this. It's such a nice formula. It's so easy to blend. Honestly, if you are in the market for a bronzer, I would probably recommend I would recommend this out of any other bronzer, I would recommend this. Probably the best bronzer I've ever used. And then my favourite blushes are the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Like I have a, I have two. I have got this one which is ecstasy and I have Pillow Dog. This is probably my favourite one. It's this really pretty like pinky colour. They blend out so easy. They last all day. That's my thing. Like I feel like blush does not last all day, but these do on my skin. Absolutely obsessed with these. Um, my favourite setting spray I've always used Urban Decay because I've never found one that I've liked until I discovered this bad boy. So this again Charlotte Tilbury setting spray it honestly sets my makeup and keeps it in place all night and day. Like I feel like the Urban Decay one I would not have really I'm not much of a fan of it but this is my favourite. For lip products, so my favourite lip liner is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I use this every time I wear makeup. My favourite is the perfect shade for me. It's just the perfect nude. The formula is amazing. Um, these nude stick, this one, Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Pixie. This is, oh. Like the perfect nude shade for me. It honestly looks amazing. It's this is if you can't get Mac blankety, this is a dupe for it. And I kind of like this because it's in like pencil form, and I feel like it doesn't take up as much room in my makeup bag and stuff. So I love that. Um, Charlotte Tilbury. What is this? I don't even know what this is. I think it's like the collagen bath lip gloss or something in Pillow Talk. It's just a really nice gloss. It's minty. It's just a really good formula. And my favourite last thing is the Dior Lip Oil in pink. I got this for my birthday. Absolutely obsessed with this lip gloss. Honestly guys, if you can get your hands on the Dior Lip Oil, I definitely recommend getting it. So good. These are all from, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the website, DHgate. This ring, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's like a Gucci ring. This is literally what I wear every day. Like my favourite ring, I want the real one, but I don't know if I'm bring myself to spend that much. And then like the matching, the matching earrings. So cute, and you're not gonna be able to see them properly. The same, and then I got these Tiffany and Co ones. Again, you're not gonna be able to see them properly, I don't think. This is my Gucci bag. This is my, I got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. This is like my first real designer bag. 
so pretty. Obsessed. I literally use this every time I go out. I'm actually like obsessed with this bag. I feel like I actually fit so much in it as well. So yeah, this has been like my favorite bag of the year. All we're gonna do, that is everything that I really love this year. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.